Hey everyone, it's Cool Kid here, back for another One Piece chapter review. Chapter 1105. And uh, honestly, usually for these chapter reviews, I just like to say something before getting started with them, but I don't really got much to say. So, uh, yeah, let's get started with the chapter review. But of course, as always, we must get started with the cover page, which is another reader request. Carrot cooks a stew and preferably taste test it. And yeah, that's really all there is to it. Well, I mean, there isn't just that. We also got Nekamamushi and Inurashi in the background looking like, oh yes, I cannot wait to devour this stew. But uh, yeah, that, that really is the act. Both of them in the background. We got Carrot making a stew and taste testing it and you know, just like I said with the other chapter review, it's nice to see these characters again, even if it's not in, you know, the, the means of the actual chapter itself, just the cover page. It's always nice to see these characters again, even if I did kind of wish that carriage on the crew. But but we, we don't worry about the past. We worry about the now. And, um, I don't know. I guess that's really it for the cover page. Liked it. Enjoyed it. Nice seeing these characters again, but uh, time to get on with the actual chapter itself. So it continues off from last time with, you know, the Marines pairing to uh, do a buster call on Egghead Island. And we got basically uh, like announcements like, all sailors leave the island, retreat to your ships at once. We are preparing to fire. And uh, we got Dahl being like, uh, St. Saturn, Admiral Borsellino, come on, hurry up on the ship. And Saturn's like, Kuzuru and I shall remain on the island, begin the barments when the ships are ready. And she's like, wait a minute, but... And then Admiral Kuzuru's like, go. Well, yes, sir. So yeah, we're... We're really heading towards the end, especially when there's a buster call, but yeah, continuing on. Vegapunk starts pleading to Saturn Vegapunk like, I thought my life was the only thing you wanted, Saturn, but Egghead Island is packed with fruits of every latest research in the convenient field. If you destroy it, you'll set off a state of scientific progress that will send you back hundreds of years. Just please, call the buster call off. Please, Kizuru. And sounds like, oh, you still hiding something? Perhaps something troublesome to the world government we have no need of progress and he's like come on it's the same for humanity and Saturn's like oh yeah you know I forgot to mention something I ordered a strike against the ship that escaped the island yesterday he's like wait a minute you, you what after all it's a possibility someone aboard that island knew something about the void century so I sent battleships after it to ensure that there are no survivors. And Vegapunk is just like, How could you do such a thing? They knew nothing. They committed no crimes. And he's like, You caused this to happen to them, Vegapunk. You broke the law. And just like they did on O'Hara, you could not overcome your lust for knowledge. So you just had to dig up the past. And oh my god, that Vegapunk is just mad about this. Yeah, continuing off just like what I've been saying about last time, it's real easy to freaking hate the Goro say. But uh, yeah, continuing on, we go back to the Marines, which, you know, it's just another panel of them being like, uh, you know, hitting them back on their ships. And they're like, all pacifists put on standby mode on the island right now. All sailors get to the ship right now. And there's to that. And uh, meanwhile, with our Straw Hat plus Bonnie plus uh, satellite crew, uh, you know, they're, you know, trying to head up and everything. And uh, we got Sanji being like, okay, everyone head into the vacuum rocket. While Vegapunk is distracting those guys, I'll meet back up with you at the entrance of the Labo phase. They're like, got it. And then we got Bonnie who's like, Sanji, what about Vegapunk? 
Ah, don't worry about it, Bonnie. I'll bring him back. And then Sanji calls up Nami, like, Come in, Nami, this is me. What's the situation? And she's like, We're already at the back door, but what's with all the noise down there? And then Sanji tells uh, Nami what's, you know, basically happened so far. And then we go back up to the lava phase where, you know, we meet with the rest of the group. Yeah, I'm sure some of you kind of forgot that, you know, they, they did kind of split up the straw hats with, uh, Everyone, the Labo phase, we got Nami, Robin, uh, Chopper, Usopp, Zoro, Brooke, and Lilith, and um, Edison? Yeah, yeah, I think that's basically everyone, you know, that's up on top on the uh, Labo phase that we got there. And um, yeah, back to it. Uh, everyone up there is just reacting to this like, A BUSTER! The silence to four, and uh, Nami continues like, "What about Luffy? He's with you, right?" And uh, Sanji's like, "Not in my line of sight at the moment, but he's fine. Focus on yourselves." And uh, Nami's like, "Well, Zoro's still being held up by Luchi, so Jinbei went to put a stop to that, and to keep him from getting lost." So yeah, I guess we're just going to skip over the. Uh, Zoro versus Luchi fight, yeah, well, I'll, I'll talk about that later, but uh, yeah, Nami continues saying that after they moved the Sunny, uh, Luffy, Frankie, and Bonnie went down towards you, so Brooke went with uh, Luff to help what we got behind, but the problem is the escape plan where, you know, Vega Force 1 takes us off here from shore isn't going to work anymore. Kizaru ruined it when he destroyed the robot. What? And uh, then we go to uh, Brooke and Lilith where Brooke is like, You see, in my hands, moving a ship across land is a piece of cake. yo ho 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 very nice work, Bones. We'll be back. We'll be back at the rear entrance in no time. Who would have thought turning the island island clouds into an ice runway was a brilliant execution? So yeah, I guess using Brooks, uh, you know, powers, they they basically make like kind of an ice runway, and you know, with. Uh, Sonny's fly capabilities uh, oh, work perfectly, yeah. And even uh, Brooke's like, ah, oh, a couple of bit from the world's greatest genius that blushes anyone. So how do you stop it at the end? And Brooke's like, oh, I haven't thought that far of a head. Oh, we're just going to slide off. Was that your plan, genius? Well, what do you think we should be, Lilith? So, yeah, such a crazy idea and plan that we got there. After that, we go back down to the Marines where they're starting their uh, bombardment, or, well, you could say Buster Call on Egghead Island, where they're like, Begin bombardment! Destroy Central Factory and Future City! And, uh, you know, the ships just go bombs away and the PXs start shooting a bunch of layer on the islands and we see Vegapunk just uh, looking upon Egged Island just being destroyed and leveled down. And uh, then we go to the, uh, you know, the ground floor group with Atlas and uh, Frankie and the rest of them on the vacuum rocket where they're, you know, trying to head all the way back up onto the Labo phase where uh, we got Frank being like, whoa, what's this thing? It's so fast. That's minute travel time. So yeah, a 32 seconds. But unfortunately, uh, Kizaru comes up there and does his, oh my god, I know I'm going to mispronounce this. Akuma no Maku. Kumo sword. It, it, basically his laser sword and well cuts the uh, hyper capsule or the vacuum rocket or whatever in half and unfortunately we got uh, our group just falling down and meanwhile when uh, Sanji sees that it's like oh no hang on guys Bonnie I'll go and save you and then uh, we got Saint Garcia just being like Pacifistas shoot down Bonnie and Kuma. 
And then all uh, the pacifistas start aiming their lasers and everything. And I guess this is internal dialogue of them being like, just exquisite. The daughter that he gave up his life is going to be killed by his own clone. What a fitting end for an insect that she is at the height of folly. Man, really, really easy to hate this guy. But, uh, yeah, and then we got another internal dialogue. And a lot of internal dialogues at the end. Where, uh, I guess Vegapunk's like, When I heard that he became a pirate, Bonnie, there was an awful possibility that flashed through my mind. At the Navy, my order, the pacifistas, taking on your father's form to shoot down his own daughter without realizing the irony of it. And, uh, oh yeah, we also got another panel of, uh, I guess the Marines surrounding Luffy. And they're like, hey, this is straw at Luffy. Oh, I, I can't eat anymore. I'm so full. Can't move. Well, you guys, capture him. He's freaking one of the emperors of the warlords. Uh, not the emperors of the warlords, but uh, one of the Yonko, the four emperors of the sea. And then for the final panel that we got is a destroyed, I guess, marine ship. Where someone on board's like, we failed to destroy the escape ship. We must report back to Kizaru. Tell them they went to Egghead Island. And thus ends the chapter there. So, uh, yeah. Oh my god. Should I start with discussions? Yeah, yeah. Let's start with the chapter discussion. Which I should mention since, you know, the next chapter did come out already. I already know what's happening here, so I won't really do about, you know, what could happen next chapter kind of sort of deal, but uh, just to be about this chapter, which, uh, you know, I, I guess to the first thing, who could have went to Egghead Island? Who's heading for Egghead Island? Could it be Dragon? Maybe Blackbeard? And, um, actually, I think that's it. That's, that's all I really thought. Who could have been uh, whenever this chapter came out? I, I'm trying to think. Was there a... I'm sure there was, like, any... There were other theories, like, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. Someone could be like, oh, no, it's, 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 uh, Vivi's heading to Egghead Island or something like that. I, I don't know. Actually, Vivi's actually not a, a bad theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I mean... You know, I can really never, you know, really guess about it. But at the time, I think Dragon or uh, Blackbeard's a really good guess. I mean, it, it really is like good guesses on who could it be. But I'll just say that for all for right now. But for the chapter itself, I'm, I'm not going to say this was a bad chapter. But I, I feel like this was more like uh, set up to anything. Like... Okay, yeah, we're, we're setting up, you know, something with Luffy. He's eating all that food. We know in the, uh, you know, upcoming chapter, Luffy's going to probably go Gear 5 and do something amazing. But uh, other than that, it's a lot of just, you know, set up, seeing what all the moving pieces are. I don't know. I, and with the whole thing with uh, Zoro versus uh, Luchi thing... I'm feeling like we're just pretty much going to be skipping almost all of it, only really seeing the end portion of the fight and whatever happens to that. I mean, I'm trying to think about this. Are, like, is this fight actually going to end with Zoro and, you know, including Jinbei, you know, going up to uh, defeat Luchi, or are they going to be interrupted? I don't know. I mean, I know we're in the final saga, but I feel like... This fight's really going to be interrupted and everything, and, um, oh yeah, uh, you know, I don't know. Probably, that's probably what's it going to be, but, uh, back to what was the saying, oh yeah, it's, you know, more stuff, like, uh, oh yeah, we finally got the ship moving, uh, the buster call's happening, and, you know, even though everyone's escaped, Kizaru is still there, speed of light and everything, I don't know, like, not, yeah, I just think this is more of a setup to what's come, and I just don't think this is a bad chapter, but just, just a lot, a lot of setup for whatever happens next chapter, which, 
I'm just going to say this. I enjoy Next Chapter way more, but I, I guess it kind of makes sense to have another one of these, you know, more slowly set up chapters, because I guess like the last couple of ones we had like, big reveal, big reveal, big reveal. Like, you know, big shopping page chapter moments, and not to say there aren't any, you know, like, oh man, this is like a real big page moment. I don't think there was anything as big as before, but, you know, I, I, I quite still enjoyed what we got here, and goddamn, I, I really do hate Jay Garcia, and, um, anything else I gotta really say? Um, nice to meet back with, uh, the Labo phase group, or group number two, or whatever, but, uh, yeah, I guess, honestly, that's, I don't really have much to say about this group, not, uh, not about this chapter, because I, I do think it's a good chapter, I just, I don't know, I just don't think there's enough for me to be like, you know, so much to talk about this or that or whatever, but, you know, I generally enjoyed it, and still think it's a good enough chapter, just a lot, I, I think it's just setting up for what's probably going to be an exciting chapter next chapter. Will that be exciting? Well, we're just going to have to find out next chapter review. So yeah, I guess I'm done with the chapter review and chapter discussion of the video. So I guess I'll be start ending this video with, uh, you know, of course, telling you that you can like, comment, subscribe. I mean, you don't have to do any of those things. I'm, I'm leaving that up to you, but it's your choice. You could do, you know, all three or none of them or in, out of order, like subscribe, comment, like. That, that is a really weird order and just sounds wrong, but you could do that. It's, it's up to you, but uh, yeah, that's it's the end of the video, so, yeah, I don't really got much else to say, and I, I personally just want to talk about next chapter more, everything, because I, I do want to talk about next chapter, because I'm, I'm quite excited, but yeah, I thought this was a good enough chapter, so, I guess I'll see you guys next time, when, well, we see whoever destroyed that Navy ship is heading for Egghead Island. Who could it be? Until next time. Yeah, end of the video. And uh, oh god, my battery is about to end. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Um, yeah, video is almost over. By um, oh yeah, Ava slash my Eevee plush didn't fall down this entire uh, recording. So yeah, that's nice and cool and everything. But uh, yeah, see you guys next time.